Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create advanced filters that will allow you to filter data using multiple AND and OR criteria if necessary. To create an advanced filter, however, you must first create a criteria range within the workbook into which you will enter the criteria to filter your table. A criteria range is a duplicate of the header row of your table that is physically separated from the rest of your, the table by blank columns or blank rows. The, it must contain a header row of fields that is identical to the header row of the table that you are going to filter. Below this header row, you then enter the criteria against which you wish to filter the table. When creating a criteria range, it may be useful to note that it does not have to be on the same worksheet. You could have one worksheet with the table data, and then a separate worksheet that contains your criteria range or criteria ranges. You can create multiple criteria ranges if you like, but you can only apply one range at a time to the table. Now, no matter where you decide to place the criteria range within your workbook, you must leave room between the criteria range and your table if they're contained within the same worksheet. This is very important for the filter to work correctly. Also, the criteria range must be at least one column by two rows in length. This leaves at least one row available for entry of filtering criteria. Also, the field names listed in criteria rows must be spelled exactly as they appear in the table, but they are not case sensitive. Now, as long as you've created a criteria range that consists of one top row of criteria labels and at least one row beneath it where you can enter criteria conditions, then you can use the criteria range to create an advanced filter. Before applying the filter, you must enter the necessary criteria conditions under the corresponding fields within the criteria rows in the criteria range. Now, when you have created a criteria range and entered at least one criteria that you want to use as a filter, you are then ready to apply the filter. So, to apply the filter, select a cell in the table which you want to apply the filter to, and then click the Advanced button that appears in the Sort and Filter group on the Data tab in the ribbon. Doing this will open the Advanced Filter dialog box. At the top of the Advanced Filter dialog box, in the Action section, you can choose to filter the list in place, or you can choose to copy it to another location. The List Range text box should show a reference to the table that will be filtered. All you need to do is to click into the Criteria Range text box, and then click and drag over the entire Criteria Range including the header row and any criteria rows that you have added in order to select it. Now, if you did select to copy it to another location instead of filtering the list in place, you could also select where you wanted to copy the copy of the filtered data using the Copy to Collapse Expand dialog box. You can also check the Unique Records Only checkbox if you would have duplicates. Now, once you have all of your advanced filter settings in place, click the OK button to filter your table based on the criteria you supplied. Now, to remove the filter after applying it, Click into the filtered data within your table, 
and then simply click the Clear button that appears in the Sort and Filter group on the Data tab in the ribbon. This will then display all of the records in your table again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.